Hi everybody. Welcome to your practice. For today's practice, you'll want to have a soft squishy ball and a block. If you don't have a squishy ball, you can use a rolled up yoga mat. Um, instead of a block, you can use a couple firm blankets, folded or a cushion. We'll start lying down on our backs just to settle in and transition to our practice. So I have my knees bent with the feet wide and the knees touching at center, just so I can let the belly relax and let the back body be heavy and feel fully supported by the floor. Letting the breath be easy, just noticing how you feel today at this time. And then we'll go ahead and take our block uh, or cushion between the knees and bring the feet about hip distance apart, arms down by the sides. Let the low back lift as you inhale. And as you exhale, push into the feet, squeeze the block and tilt the pelvis. Inhale to release the belly, soften around the block, the feet. Exhale, push into the feet, squeeze your block, press your low back down. And then keep going with your breath. One breath flows into the next. And gradually engage as you exhale, squeezing the block and pushing the low back down, and then gradually release as you inhale. And we're just bringing some blood flow, some attention, some circulation to this area waking up those muscles and tissues there. Next time you squeeze, go ahead and stay in that squeeze and then lift the hips as you inhale and lower the hips as you exhale. So continue with that squeeze now on the block. Squeeze the glutes to lift up through the hips and exhale to lower. So now we're continuing that engagement in the inner thighs, low belly strengthening and we're adding the sides of the hips and the glutes. So you should start to feel warm here. Next time you lift, go ahead and stay in that lift. Squeeze, push the floor away with the arms and the feet. Squeeze your block, lift the low belly, squeeze the glutes and let yourself breathe. So even though there's a lot of work here, we're letting the breath be easy. And on your next exhale, release, soften, move your block to one side for a moment and draw the knees in. You can circle the knees, you can rock from side to side, just releasing tension in all of those muscles and tissues that we just engaged. And now we'll roll to one side and come to uh, seated for a moment to grab our ball or that rolled up blanket and we'll place the ball uh, right in that space uh, between the hip points and the rib cage. So in that soft space at the side waist, laying down on the, the side of the hip and the shoulder here and resting your head on something comfortable. So it may be a blanket or a block and here, we wanna feel like we can relax into the floor. So there's no effort to stay here. And it might be tender. I'm starting on the left side, but I'm letting my body with every exhale relax into that ball. And if you feel any tenderness, try to soften, let your breath be easy. Of course, if it's too much, you can prop yourself up on an elbow to relieve some of that pressure. 
So again, I'm starting on the left side, I'm just letting myself relax with every exhale. Inhaling, squeeze now, push into the ball, into the ball, and then as you exhale, lower and soften. Inhaling, hold that breath in and squeeze around the midsection. And as you exhale, soften all those muscles, let yourself sink deeper into the ball. Take that three more times. So we inhale, hold the inhale, tighten around the core. And then as we exhale, we soften and sink into that ball a little deeper. And then from here, we'll start to roll forward and back on the ball. So there's no wrong way to do this. You see, it's fairly organic, but we roll the side body across the ball towards the belly and then across the side waist towards the back. Again, trying to let ourselves be as soft and relaxed as possible so we can really start to open up in those tissues, muscles, and can get deeper into the abdominal organs on that left side. The whole practice here is to try to create some space by releasing tension around the sides of the belly here. And this time we'll take a, a rotation through the spine. So reaching that top arm up and over and across as you look back behind you and then reaching that arm up and over and reaching forward. So my fingertips stay on the floor or towards the floor as much as we can as you roll and twist. Again, trying to keep as relaxed as possible over that ball. And I'm going a bit quickly here, but you can certainly take your time and go nice and slow, kind of feel everything along the way there. Inhaling to open and exhale to close. With all of these exercises or movements, we're working with about five to eight rounds of each movement, and that's usually plenty. Let yourself rest here. It's more about quality over quantity in these types of movements. So doing too much can actually be um, counterproductive. And after a rest on that side, um, go ahead and lay down onto your back. And again, feet wide, knees touching at center, just to release the hip flexors and let yourself notice what you notice. And so for me, I notice a, um, a softness, a little more space on that left side for breath. And I feel like there is some work to do on the right side still. So notice what you notice. Let yourself breathe. And we, we will prepare for the other side. So move your props so that you have support for the head and the neck. And again, placing that ball on the right side now, right in that soft space between the low ribs and the hip point. The knees are bent for support. And here again, we'll, we'll start with just relaxing over the ball as much as we can. So just letting with every exhale, letting ourselves sink deeper into the ball. That ball moves a little deeper in towards the spine and feeling what you feel here. Noticing if there's any tenderness and adjusting. Tenderness is not a bad thing. We certainly don't want to feel pain, but a little discomfort is normal. Our muscles and organs are not used to this type of pressure usually. And yet again, we're, cr we're creating space, we're releasing tension, creating space. Let's inhale now and hold, push into that ball. 
And when you feel the exhale come, relax into that ball deeper. We'll take that four more times. So inhaling, filling up the waist, hold, squeeze around the midsection. And as you exhale, relax all those muscles. Three more times. I'm taking about a four or five count inhale and letting the exhale be as long as it wants to be. And after that fifth, sixth, seventh round, you might relax for a moment. And then we'll begin to roll forward and back. So lifting up, I decided to stay lower this time, leaving my head on the, on the uh, blanket. But you're welcome to prop yourself up on your forearm. But we wanna feel like we can soften around the midsection. So letting your, those muscles relax, you can get deeper into the fascia, deeper in towards those tissues that hold tension and can cause us some discomfort and just lack of ease, rolling forward and back with your breath. And you may need to adjust the ball here. We'll start to take our twist now. So that top arm, fingertips stay close to the floor as you inhale and open up, rolling, twisting open. And then exhale as you unwind from that twist. Again, take this twist about four to five more times on your own, moving as slowly as your ego will allow you to move. Feeling everything along the way. So these movements, again, when they create space, it can actually help us to increase our strength and stability around the core, the midsection. For, of course, for our yoga practice, whether it be balance or standing postures, but also in daily life, as we walk through daily life, this midsection is the seat of our motivation, confidence, our ability to digest, not only foods, but experiences, thoughts. We'll rest here for a moment. And so when we have a strong midsection, but also a supple midsection that can soften when it needs to, uh, we create that balance and that sense of ease in the body and the mind. After a little rest, let's again come onto our backs and kind of check in, assess how we're feeling across the sideways, the abdomen, allowing ourselves to breathe here easy and notice if you have any more space for breath and an ability to soften. If the mind wanders, no worries. Simply bring it back to the abdomen, observing as the belly rises and falls. When you're ready, you can certainly stay here as long as you like, but when you're ready to come out of your practice, whether you're moving on to a practice or moving on with your day, sitting up nice and tall, Hands can rest in the lap or come to heart center as we close. Thank you for your practice.
Namaste.